What's up, YouTube? Marvin Four here with another Great American Survival. And everybody is like me, and you're trying to get in to more, spend more time on the water. This right here is going to allow you to make one of the best camera poles on the market. Guys, this thing's awesome. And for less than $40, this thing is going to give you the accessibility to make some of the best footage and take some of the best pictures that you can on the water. Stick with us. I'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with, we're gonna tell you what you're gonna need. First, you're gonna need one of these Sherline painter's poles. Now this thing is an extended painter's pole. This is the medium size. This was available at Walmart for $15 is where I picked it up at my local Walmart. And this thing is awesome. What you're gonna do is if you wanted the longer one, you could use the longer one. Then you can use, you can either use a three quarter inch PVC and screw it on there and use a nut, uh, a little bolt. But personally, I found this online. This was from clicksnap.net and it is a camera adapter not just meant for GoPros, but any type of action camera, and it just threads on there. Now, the cool part about this, as opposed to using like, my first one I made was out of one like this, had PVC, but it wouldn't lock in. I wasn't really comfortable with my camera being out there, but this one's got a nut uh, locking, um, an Allen key to lock it down, so it's not gonna unscrew and come off. See that? And that's awesome. Then all you're gonna need is your action camera, which in this case is just one of my GoPros. And you're gonna need one of these adjustable, the one that has the adjustable angle, because you're gonna want that. And that's all you're gonna need. We're gonna put this thing together and I'm gonna show you how this works. This thing is awesome, guys. All right, so the way this is gonna work is you're gonna take this painter's bolt, just like so. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna thread this on here. Really well done, machined. Um, I'm assuming it's probably aluminum. That's gonna low on there. You can tighten up this little lock, uh, the lock nut, the lock, um, the locking bolt, and tighten it down. And then you're just gonna screw this on there like so. And what that allows you to do with your camera is with the push of this button, this pole extends. I mean, just incredible. Uh, depending on which size you use, the small. Um, I don't know the, ang the distances. Um, I can put it down below and um, I'll put a link um, to Walmart. That's where I found mine for 15 bucks. And uh, the long one is like eight feet and this one is like five feet. Uh, and it works exceptional. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to put this in your rod holder like so. Let's see if you can see that there. Okay, so as you see, this is what it's going to do. When we install it here, install this, let's turn this camera on. And I'm going to show you some video from there just so you can sync them up and you'll see what, they're, what, what I'm talking about. But what this allows you to do is when you're back here with simple one-handed manipulation allows you to stay seated and adjust your camera down and make it that much easier to get access to it, whether you're changing up your batteries or anything like that. It's just amazing. And especially, I use a dog leash. It's just a cheap little $1 strap leash. And I attached it through the bottom of this, through this. And by attaching it through the bottom of this, it comes up the side. And then I hook it to one of these little cleats. And it allows you to just snug it up a little more. And it also uh, secures your camera uh, boom and keeps it from going anywhere. So, just like that and it gives you some awesome video. Um, I'll show you some video here of me using it uh, a couple days ago when I used it on my Pelican. I was out fishing. Guys, it's awesome. I mean, I really think it's hands down one of the best designs, one of the easiest camera, camera poles you'll ever come across.
Well guys, as you see, the video is exceptional. Like I said, not counting the camera or any of the adapters for the GoPro camera or anything like that, just for the pole in this, I mean, I'm less than $40. Um, I paid $15 for this and I paid like $17 for the mount, but I, I'll put links to them both. Um, I love it. I think it's awesome. I think, I wish I found out about this a long time ago because I've made so many camera poles out of PVC and different things and they not they don't work nearly as well as this. I mean, this thing is just awesome. I mean, I'm so happy with it. I think it's hands down, it's, it's, re it's revolutionary when it comes to what it does. Um, I honestly just saw, I came across the pole when we were getting ready because we're getting ready to paint our living room. Uh, the one like this. I've used another one that was one of the twist lock ones, and that's not really the same. Uh, the twist lock one is what I used on my old one, and it had a nice little handle on it. But this has this really nice EVA foam grip around it, but it's got this little tie off, which allows you to attach your leash or whatever and attach it to your rod holder, and it just makes it that much more secure. So it's not going to go anywhere. But it works so well. Um, in the one-handed operation, when you're in that, when you're sitting down, just to be able to reach down there and pull this and move it like that and be able to reach it while you're sitting and not have to stand up, turn around. I've had ones that were in the very back and this is just using a basic, you know, um, rear facing rod holder. That's it. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys will all go out and get one, especially if you're looking at doing any type of video like this. This thing's awesome. I love it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great week. Hope you guys um, make sure you take some time. You get outside this week. If you're out on the water, put on that personal flotation device. It can't save you if it isn't on your body. So accidents happen. You don't want a time on the water when you're having fun with your friends and families to end in tragedy. So put it on. And guys, thank you so much. We couldn't do this without you. We hope you guys have a great week. Make sure you go over and check us out. We're on social media. We're on Facebook and on Instagram. And if you're new to this channel and this is your first time checking out any of our videos, crush that subscribe button. Give us the old thumbs up. Tell the world you love us. And guys, thank you so much. We hope you guys have a wonderful week and a wonderful week to come. And guys, get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared and stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.